I do not spend anywhere near enough time down here on Horizon. Horizon? One of those is right. Crit Crack, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something that I don't think anyone else has done before. Now I may be wrong, so I'm not going to say that as a factual statement, but I definitely haven't seen it. I'm going to be putting the PES, the Persistent Entity Streaming, one of the new features of 318, to the test, but with a catch. The way I'm going to be testing it is different than other people have been testing it. I've seen people go and place objects around on bins and such, and that's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be... Well, I don't know if this term's allowed on YouTube, but kidnapping. I'm going to be kidnapping, okay? It's, it's human trafficking. I'm going to be taking AI characters, AI uh, entities, NPCs, from a one place, dropping them on another place in a pl on, a, on a planet randomly and leaving them there with with an item like a box or something next to them to mark their spot and then i'm just gonna leave and come back in a couple of hours and see if they are still there so here we are in orison i'm going to land uh, sorry i'm gonna go and grab my ship and uh, oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa 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 who's driving this thing we're gonna crash jesus Approaching next station. What? If this is your stop, uh, let me off of this stop. transport. What in the world? That was close. Last call for passengers. <laughs> that was close. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Jeez. Oh, God. Yeah, let me off. These people are doing the moonwalk. That dude is kind of just staring at a wall. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. But here we are. We're going to be flying the cutter today. And I'm going to explain why we are flying the cutter in a moment when we get to our destination. And we're going to be whacking on the Concierge paint, one of my favourite paints in the game, actually. And it just looks wonderful on the cutter. But more on that in just a moment. If you are new around here, I stream Star Citizen on Mondays and Wednesdays. And there's events going on. We have a fantastic organisation. You can come on in, get involved with some events and play with other players. It's great. All the details are in the description. And there's also a referral code and we're going to be doing some giveaways throughout the year so stay tuned for all of that goodness if you think i've earned it please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be notified of my new videos and when i go live here on youtube and if you've enjoyed the video please whack the like button and leave a little comment below are you looking forward to 318 or are you not bothered about it do you think it's a bit meh personally i think it's going to be amazing but uh, i'm really interested to know what y'all thinking the ai on the ptu is still kind of walking on the spot and doing this weird moonwalking thing so they're not really interactable it's a word um, so that might be a problem with what we're trying to do here in the ptu if this was live it would be a lot easier but i'll show you what i mean in a minute i, I did give this a bit of a test um before recording just to make sure i could actually pick up ai in the ship the way i'm planning to do or that i was planning to do but i've not tested the persistent entity streaming side of things purely the picking up of ai and the ones that walking on the spot was problematic anyway let's go get our cutter and get straight into the meat of the video here it is the cutter what a beautiful little starter ship this is the little ship that could there's uh, i plan on making so many videos around this thing but this is the concierge skin and just take a little gander with your eyes i love this thing i really really love this thing it's just so industrial looking it, it really reminds me of an old car you know if you had like a ford fiesta back in the 90s and you could crash that thing into fort knox and Fort Knox would open. <laughs> the car would be untouched, unscratched, undamaged. That is what I feel like the, the cutter represents for me. It just looks so robust. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, let's jump straight on in. Drop the ramp. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Agent 47? What's... Oh, I picked this AI up when I was doing the test. I've stored my ship... I've stored my ship and changed service since then. This is a... What? This is great. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what's going on or where he is. I literally picked this AI up when I was testing if I could do what I'm planning to do. And I stored my ship preparing to make this video. And I've changed service since. And <laughs> he was in storage. What was he thinking? We actually had to fly over to Area 18, and I know that I'm going to have to leave this footage in the video because it is just such a beautiful sight. Um, yeah, we had to come on down here. The AI were all walking on the spot in the hangar at, at Horizon, so I couldn't pick any of them up because they just sort of fell through my ramp. So let me, uh, I'm going to head into a hangar here, 
and we're gonna get our first victims. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 test subject. Uh, 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 so this is my plan. If I just reverse up with the ramp down, just sort of scrape it along the floor like an ice cream scoop, and just sort of scoop up the AI characters that I want to um, uh, take on, on a journey. <laughs> I, I mean, take them on the journey they will totally want to go on. Um, this... Oh, here we go. Here we go. So the, so the, some of them do work. Some of them just don't. If they're walking on the spot, you're kind of stuck. Here we go. So if I now reverse... Back it up into this sort of ledge. Maybe it'll push this this character along the ramp into the back. Yes, this is good. This is very good. Okay, just a little bit back, and this should. If as long as I get him quite near the opening, because otherwise he will end up on the roof. I I imagine. Uh, oh oh no oh no he's crouched under. Oh, ah <laughs> oh god. I know this is going to take a long time. Oh, we've got one. We've got one on the line. Oh, come on, baby. Let's go. Just push along. Push along. Oh, yes. The first willing participant in the, in this experiment is, is, is in. All we have to do is raise the ramp, and they should just slip straight on into the back of the cutter. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you know you want to. Just, just get on in. Right, raise ramp. Please, 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 please. Yes! You can see him going down the ramp in the back of the window one frame a second. Nice! Okay, perfect. Perfect. Our first willing part- Oh! The other guy's still here. I forgot about him. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just grab a third and then we will make our way out. Um, this is exa <laughs> exactly what it looks like. Somehow, he's ended up on the roof. And the other guy fell out and disappeared, so... Uh, uh, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to try and do some absolute wacky manoeuvring to try and get this dude back in the back of the hangar. Approximately 10 hours later. Um, so yes, yeah, something kind of happened. My plan here is to descend at max speed while tilting the nose of the ship down. And hopefully he'll just kind of slip in. Because he'll be falling. Here we go. Whoop. Did it work? Oh, no. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, buddy. You know you want to be in here? There's a party in here. We've got snacks. <laughs> yes, okay. Nice. He's in. Perfect. Uh, the snacks is what really convinced him. Perfect. Okay, I'm actually going to just leave it with two. This has taken me far too long. I want to say over an hour just to try and get these AI in the back of this cutter. Uh, if this was on the live servers again, this would be a lot easier because I feel like the AI are a lot less bugged. You don't see many walking on the spot, so you can kind of actually interact with them. But yeah, on the PTU, it's a bit, a bit, a bit buggy. So we're going to leave with this. We've got two. It's enough for the test. Let's go and drop them on a planet. Grab a box of some description to put next to them to mark their spot. And then leave them for a few hours and see see how they fare. Okay, we're here on Walla, and we're going to the Lost and Found. So let's come. I've actually never been here before, so we're down the VTOL, down the gear, and we're going to land at the Lost and Found here on Walla. This seems like a nice place to leave them. Hopefully, they don't freeze to death. I think the security guard suited up. The other person, unfortunately, might not be. Um, so let's come down here. Just going to bring it on in. I love this little ship. It always looks so freaking awesome. Right, uh, oh, 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 Jesus, go, 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 oh my god, I did not know this, I did not, oh, my ramp's broken, I did not know this was a thing down here, I've never been to the lost and found, <laughs> oh god, go, 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 boost, oh god, the ramp's down, please don't say they're gonna just come flying out the back of it, I've lost a fin, I've lost a rear tail fin, god, what, why, <laughs> why, I had no idea they were like that down there. I didn't know I was going to get bit. All right. Um, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Found some presents, I guess, left over from Luminalia. So I'm thinking I take one of these, use the tractor beam, pick up the present, and just kind of give them a little bit of a helping hand. And by that, I mean smashing a present into their forehead so hard that they fly out the back of the cutter. <laughs> That's my plan of action here. And I think it's going to be perfect, if you ask me. So we've come on down to the Samson and Son Salvage Center. Now, I think this is a bit of an illegal salvaging place, but there's, sh there's no turrets and there shouldn't be anyone hanging around here. 
uh, currently in the PTU, I don't, I don't imagine. So this seems like a good place to touch down. I've scanned the area, I don't see any ships or, an, or any movement of any description, and I haven't seen anyone sort of running around. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the place. Okay, nice. We have a lovely touchdown. Let's go to the back and get these Garam little scoundrels, these little stowaways. I totally didn't kidnap them. Um, off of the ship and let's leave them here with uh, with their little present. And let's see. Let's see how long they Well, Let's see if they're still here when we get back. That is the real test of the persistent entity streaming. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really interested to see if they're still here when I get back because that would be so cool. And if it is, I tell you what, if they are still here, we'll have a bit of fun with this when, when the little server goes live. Sorry, I'm just sort of boncing these people with this present trying to get them off. Um, well, when this goes live and the AI aren't so buggy with regards to getting them onto my ship, we will absolutely revisit this video and we'll get... We will fill the cutter to the brim with as many AI. I'm talking like 30. And we'll go and put them somewhere really strange. Like maybe on a, bu a bunker elevator. Or uh, we can go and put them maybe on like security post career. That would be uh, <laughs> just be so wild to have all these AI just standing somewhere. By the way, by the way, if you come down to Samson and Sons. Or if you've been down here in the last couple of days. Because this video will come out in a couple of days time. Please let me know if you saw these AI just chilling or if you've seen a screenshot maybe on Reddit or somewhere of, of someone saying that there was just two AI chilling here and there was a present next to them. Please do let me know if you've seen it because I want to see if anyone else has stumbled across my creation. <laughs> it would be hilarious. So yeah, please do let me know if you've seen that anywhere on the internet and, uh, and link it to me in the comments below because I'm very intrigued. But here we go. They've both been evacuated. They look quite comfortable. They're not going anywhere by the looks of things. They're not running off. They're not sort of patrolling. Um, I think... I think... We're good to go. So without further ado, let's blast off. So I'm just going to hop over to Crusader, which is about a 15 minute or so, maybe just slightly less jump in the stock cutter. And then once we get there, we're going to hang around a bit. I'll cut that all out of the video and then we'll just jump back and uh, we'll, we'll come back and, and, and check them out. See if they're still here in about an hour or so, because uh, even I mean, even 10 minutes should be a, a big enough test. But I want to leave it at least an hour, so I will cut it out, but I will see you in about an hour. Welcome back. It has been about 56, 57 minutes um, and we are now heading back towards Walla. Um, we jumped, we hung around a little bit. We didn't really do much. I kind of just went off, got a drink, got a snack, got a breakaway bar if anyone's had one of those before. And now we're going to come back and land on Walla and uh, back at Samson and Sons. And let's see just how they're getting on. As we fly down to Samson and Son in this really cinematic moment. If you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, by the way, they are the two platforms I am most active on, other than Discord, of course, uh, in regards to social media. I, I tweet a lot and I put some things on Instagram, and that's where I will be announcing my giveaways this year. So if you are not currently following me on those two platforms, please do go and do so uh, if you have those platforms, of course, because it would really help me out. Obviously, I want to grow a lovely Star Citizen audience and, and want to be part more of a part of the community but also i would love to uh to give i want to do more giveaways and the more people in the in the community the more giveaways we can do so please head over to those platforms uh, to make sure you're notified when that's happening we are now here at samson and son the question is are our friends here that sounded weird when i said it slowly are, are our friends here that's what we're about to find out 
Oh, please. Please. It's very dark. I don't see the headlight of the security guard. Oh, wait. Do I see something? Oh, the phone. Yes! Yes! They're still here! <laughs> They're still here! God, imagine if you landed here. You'd be so confused. Oh, the presence had a bit of a drift then. I'm, I must have done that, unless another player has come down since we've been gone, which is unlikely, but is possible. Um, they wouldn't have moved it along there, I don't imagine. That must have been when I dusted off, when I took off from the, from the planet. Um, my, my engines must have blown the parcel away, because I don't think it's randomly just drifted down, you know, 20, 30 feet uh, down towards the, the other part of the scrapyard there. So I imagine that was from when I, when I, uh, went full power on the engines and after burned away. But let's go and see our friends. Let's go and say hello and, uh, wrap this video up. Just appreciating the fact that this worked, which I am staggered, to be honest. I, I really thought that the AI would respawn. I knew that the PS was working with items. I, re I knew the box would be here, which is why I kind of put it down, because I thought at least we can test both the object and the uh, and, and the AI to see if they stayed. But by the looks of things, this opens a door for so many funny gameplay moments. Bonk. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that had a double reaction. He went for the old double header. Oh, well, I am, for one, am very excited for, for the potential gameplay um, and video op opportunities that are now available. We can we can have a lot of fun with this. If you have any ideas that you would like me to try with, with this idea, with the with the persistent entity streaming and the and basically kidnapping AI, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll make sure to do that in an upcoming video. But... Until then, that is actually going to bring us to the end. I feel like I've given a fairly rigorous test. I know there's some other videos. I've seen the one of the, the dude that was streaming the day after he had placed a bottle in a plant. And it was there the day after on the same server, which is crazy. Like 24 hours or something crazy it was. Or maybe 18 hours, something like that. Mental. I mean, this is huge. I mean, I've seen crash ships. I've seen crashed vehicles, cars, I've seen all sorts, rocks, just chilling around the verse, so I love, love, love this part of the patch, and it just makes me even more excited for uh, 3.18 to go live. This is going to be such a fun year for Star Citizen, although it will be quite slow, as we know um, from the letter from the chairman, we, we can't really, we can't really be anticipating too many big updates until next year with 4.0, but there's still a lot to come out, and hopefully Bounty Hunting 2.0 will be first and foremost in that list but until next time as i said earlier if you enjoyed the video please do like it leave a comment below let me know what you thought and please do consider hitting the subscribe button become part of the community be notified by your notification bell being switched on i'm running out of breath <laughs> um, so that you know when i'm live and when a new video comes up uh, to grace your face especially if it's going to be a follow-up video you don't want to miss one of those and make sure to come into the discord and chill with me we, we can have a nice chat about whatever you like star citizen related you want to come and talk to me about your favorite car in the real world let's do it come into the discord i appreciate you thank you very much for watching you've been fantastic i hope you've enjoyed the content i've put in front of your eyes today and i will see you in the next one peace who's that Bartel. He's in the mask again, is it Gollum, is it Gandalf? Ask a friend. Yeah, well you can ask your mum, cause I heard her screaming out last night, it's CFA. And we don't hydrate, we don't posture check, cause we want that cake. The tiny house.